Hey guys, so welcome to my corridor of beds. I'm actually in America at the moment. Also known as the Kingdom of Waffles. I've been having waffles for every single breakfast. I'm sure if you actually cut open my arm, I would just leak out waffle batter. That actually sounds pretty delicious. I've been in Vegas for the last week for Dan's 21st birthday, which has been amazing. Dan's posting a full day in the life Vegas extravaganza, so you can look forward to that. But I thought I'd tell you about a funny experience that we had. The spa! So me and Dan got a voucher for Caesars Palace Health Spa, so we thought we may as well go. We're not really spa people, but why not? Why not have a day pampering your face? So we arrived at the spa and I looked like this. As soon as I got to the front desk, I realized I'd made a huge mistake with my choice of shorts because everyone was like, Prada sunglasses, Calvin Klein shorts that had been tattooed onto their legs in pure gold squid ink. Everyone was obviously super rich. So the girl at the desk was like, Hello. Two for the spa, please. And she looked me up and down and said, You want to wear flowery shorts in a place like this? This? So yeah, then I said, Oh, they're uh, Pierre, Carl, Klein. Proceed. So then we entered the spa. So this place was insanely extravagant. It had like huge statues everywhere and everyone was in their robes like, oh, look at me in my robes. And me and Dan just looked completely out of place. We thought, no, let's just go with it. We'll get into the first pool, chillax. So we went into the first pool, which was like the introduction room where there was just a bubbly spa bath. There was a guy in the corner that looked like he was dead. He was just snoring like, he was kind of pig-like and weird, but it was actually nice, relaxing bubbles, everything was fine. And then pool two was the Roman baths. So this was kind of a circular jacuzzi style area with one ladder at one end. And there was two middle-aged guys sat next to each other like, yeah, enjoying the Roman spa or with all their chest hair. And me and Dan were just like, well, should we go in as well? Okay, okay, we'll go in. We'll sit down with them. It's fine. So we got into the water, which was crazy bubbles, so you couldn't really see much. And we were just sat there enjoying the relaxation when we noticed that the two guys were kind of eyeing each other up weirdly, like... And I don't know why they were confused, but they kept just like looking down into the bowls, then looking back up at us. And I was just like, what, what, what's wrong with them? I don't know. I don't understand. Until they got out of the water when we realized that they were both completely naked. We'd been sharing this bubbly steam time with two completely naked men. And that was the moment I realized everyone was naked. It, was, it wasn't just the two men that were in the pool. Every single guy was completely naked under their robes. They were getting into all the pools like, oh, let's let it all hang out with our beards and champagne made out of slaves. So we were completely out of place and that was really awkward. So we were like, okay, let's just try one more room, the herbal steam therapy. So we escaped into this herbal steam room, which was scented with Giga Mint. So every time you breathed in, it kind of melted your entire brain out. And it was the foggiest room you've ever seen. You couldn't even see your own hand in front of you. It was that misty. So we were just sat in this room wondering if Samara or a T-Rex were gonna come reaching through the mist when all of a sudden, somebody coughed. We both nearly had a heart attack. This is when a tiny Mexican emerged from the fog and I'm guessing he'd been there the whole time. And he was like, disrobe please. Um, no. Disrobe for the steam to absorb into you. So we were like, okay, we have to get out of here. So we ran out of the door only to realize we'd use the wrong door into the wedding chapel side of the hotel of all places where a woman was having her wedding photo and me and Dan were just stood in our swimming shorts, soaking wet. So the moral of the story is, never go to a spa. Ever. Ever. Unless you're naked and rich. Then you can. Uh, so yeah, please comment below if you've had any awkward swimming or spa experiences. And thumbs up this video if you want a free herbal massage from me. No? No? Okay. Forgetting the spa experience, Caesar's Palace was actually awesome. So much so that I bought the entire gift shop. I got the Caesar's Palace mug, the Caesar's Palace glittery pen, the real casino dice, ooh, and some Caesar's Palace cards. You're welcome, Caesar. Anyway, I just realized I didn't actually tell you where I am at the moment. I am in VidCon land, also known as Los Angeles. And Dan is here to tell you why. Hi, Dan. Hi. <laughs> Why are we? Entrance. So what do we have to tell them, Dan? Me and Phil are doing a meetup. Yay! If you are at VidCon this weekend, then you can go to where, where? the place. What's the place? I don't know. Room 211AB at 11am on Saturday. Ooh. So be there and then you can meet us. 221AB there or B square. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So yeah, you can meet us on Saturday if you're around, which would be nice. And we'll also be making some kind of super 
amazing announcement. <laughs> That's really subtle. Cryptic. <laughs> so hopefully we'll see some of you there. Even you. Exit. Exit. Go. Go. Today's Raw Phil Naked is... Uh. And I will see you guys soon.